we are going to try something new today. New to me, not new to a lot of other people in this world. This is our journey. Welcome to the Bettencourt's Homestead. Always followed the rules in canning, always, until the last several years when I was like, oh, really? Those rules are only for the U.S. The rest of the world has totally different sets of rules. So we are going to venture out and I'm going to show you a new type of canning that um, I'm excited to try. It's called the dry canning method. It's been around forever. And the reason I'm doing this now is because the canning diva, Diane Devereaux, I have been watching her do this recipe and literally every so often she would send a jar away to a laboratory to be tested. And the last one just came back like last month. I think it was last month. And I am like excited to try these because it's perfect. So for those of you that do not like to veer away from the set rules that our nation that I live in currently has, um, I recommend you probably just skip this one. I am, I'm, I'm a, what they would call a rebel canner. And I'm just doing this one because you know what? I got 20 pounds of potatoes for 39 cents a pound and I'm canning them up before they go bad. And I'm excited to try this new tested, tested, um, recipe. So with that said, let's go through it. The link is already up in my in my bio. This is called dry packed potato canning recipe. Um, and the first up on the list is wash your potatoes very well. Peel them if you want, but you don't have to. You just have to make sure you get all of the dirt off of them and you wash them very well. And that is what I have been doing for the last hour and a half. Then you chop them. I'm actually doing cubes and possibly french fries. I'm not quite sure. Whatever my fancy and my knife tells me it wants to do. Once you get them all chopped and rinsed, you're going to stick them in a big bucket, fill them up full of water, and let them sit for an hour. Here's where it gets fun. If you're doing russet potatoes, you're going to drain them, rinse them off, and let them soak for another hour in fresh water. You're trying to get all the starch out, because if you don't get all the starch out, then your potatoes will turn a weird color. I got the big boy out today because we're going to use them all! Here's where it gets fun. You're going to drain these, rinse them really good, and then you're going to dry them, pat them dry with towels. Melt four ounces of butter and throw it in a clean pot. Rinse and dry your potatoes really well and coat them in the butter. Add salt or season to your preference. Coat with the butter and the seasonings of your choice. Fill them up to one inch headspace and then let's wipe the rim because they got butter all over them. Butter all over They're slippery as snot. Now we're going to stick them in the pressure canner. Processing time 35 minutes, but bring it up slow because everything is cold. I got my old girl out. She is pristine and beautiful. She was my first canner double decker like she's beautiful look at her absolutely a thing of beauty so what you're hearing is over here my regular girl i got her from a lady that was going into a retirement home and she wanted to make sure all of her um canning equipment went to somebody that would feed their family and that was $100 in a pile of a bunch of canning equipment. That was, she's the, she was the sweetest lady ever. But this right here is too tall. I don't feel comfortable putting her on my flat cooktop, my glass stove top. My book from my stove says not to can. I do at my own risk. But for some of you that don't want to do that risk, look at that right there. It's a high-powered hot plate. It takes much longer. I mean, it's going to be a long time for you to get it up to temperature, and, and that's what I'm working on right now. But it's the option for you. It is an option. And this is what you have. That is actually a really great question. You always want to put water in your pressure canner but you don't put in dry canning, you don't put water in the actual jars. So you just shove your potatoes in there, put the lid, wipe the rims, put the lids on, screw them down, and then put the water in the canner as normal and put the jars in there. Really great question, I'm glad you asked that. So some of you have wanted to see the dry canned potatoes and how, what they're like when they're cooked. Let me show you. These are what they look like when they're cooked. They brown up so nice and they are so crispy and so delicious and they taste just like a potato that we would have gotten and baked in the microwave and then sliced up. They're perfect. Mm -hmm. 